We ask that your Holy Spirit, Lord God, come into this congregation. As your words go forth, Lord God, we ask that your Holy Spirit touch and meditate in our hearts and in our minds. Amen? Amen. Amen. This morning, our sermon entitled, do not be foolish. Amen? Amen? Do not be foolish. We're going to look at several things here this morning. Joshua 24, 1 to 3, 14 to 25, and Matthew 25, 1 to 13. Amen? Amen? Over in Joshua, it talks about our forefathers. How the, before they were in bondage, Pharaoh had them worship all kind of gods, idol worshipers. They did not believe in God, but yet still they worship idols and they believed in idols. But as it goes on, the Lord then took Abraham out of the country of his fathers and took them to the land that he had presented to their descendants. And they worshiped our Lord God. They turned away from the God that their fathers worshipped, idols, and they decided to worship God who brought them out of bondage and brought them to the land of milk and honey. Amen? Amen. I want you to think about that for a moment, about the time, or even today, there are people that worship idols. There are people that believe in other gods, amen? And that's why the topic of our sermon comes, don't be foolish. Over in Matthew, it tells about the bridegrooms. Five, matter of fact, it was ten of them. Five of them took oil and five did not, Amen? <coughs> And they, five of them fell asleep. And they all burned out of their manner. And when the bridegroom came at midnight, they were awoken, and those who had brought extra oil went to be wedded. And those who did not went to buy oil. And when they came back and they hollered to the Lord, it is us, Lord, open the door. And the Lord told them, I do not know you. Amen? Now, that's what I call foolish. Today, in our life, as we live and as we go through our everyday routine, how many times have God shown himself? How many times have God revealed himself? How many times he has brought you through something? And for some reason, we still fail not to listen. If we can go back in time, at some point in our life, we live our life very foolish. We did things that we thought was right, but in the end, 
we got foolish results. But I come by to tell you this morning, put your trust in Jesus. Put your trust in Jesus, for he has brought us a mighty long way. Amen? Yes. Remember when you went to school and the teacher told you how to do a certain problem, and for some reason you were asleep and you were not paying attention. And when it came time for the test, you gave a half answer. How many of us have did that? We gave a half answer because we were not listening. We were foolish. And when the grade came out, when you could have got an A, you got a D. And the teacher went on to explain to you. And you went to the teacher and you asked her, well, ma'am, ma I did what I supposed to do. And she told you, you gave her a, a half answer. You were not paying attention to what I said. Because if you were, Mr. Reinhardt, you would have did it the right way. Instead of a D, you would have got an A. What were you doing, Ms. Ryan Hart? Were you sleeping? Or were you not paying attention? You see, sometimes we do foolish things and we get our foolish results. Amen? Yeah. Today I come to tell you, put your trust in Jesus. Listen to the words of the Lord. And don't be foolish. How many times we have tried to do the right thing? And we were blessed just enough to make it through. And then for some reason, we took our eyes off Jesus. We got comfortable and thought we had it all together. You see, these bridegroom, five of them, thought they had it all together. Five were wise and five was foolish. I come to tell you, don't be a fool this morning. I come to tell you, talk to God. Listen to him. Call on him in your time of trouble and your time of need. Don't be foolish. Don't try to do it your way and get the wrong result, or uh, better yet, you get the further result, the wrong result, and you go a little deeper in debt. You see, over in Joshua, it tells about our forefathers. It tells about Abraham's fathers, how they, while they were in bondage, they worshiped another god. How they worshiped an uh, idol. But you see, the Lord took Abraham out of this land and took him to a land that he had predestined. Took him up to a land that, of milk and honey. And he showed him the finer things of life. He told him and he taught him the God in whom they should worship. And they worshiped this God. And they live by the word of God. And God gave them what he has told them. He gave them a son. He gave them a family. More than a grain of sand on the sea, on the beaches. Amen? You see, sometime in our walk, or even before we decide to give our life to God. In other words, before we chose to accept him as our Lord and Savior, we lived our life foolishly. We thought we had it all together, but we wind up getting the same result, the same foolish mentality, and the same foolish answers in our life. So this morning I'm telling you, accept Jesus. 
as your Lord and Savior. Confess your sins and believe in your heart that he lives. Amen? Don't be foolish. Continue living your life and getting the same results. You see, at some point in our lives, and even in my life, before I found Jesus, I lived a foolish life. I lived this life of the flesh. I lived a life that was led to destruction. I lived a life where I thought I had it all together, but I was going nowhere. But then I found Jesus, and I put my trust in him. I turned my life over to him, and today I worship him, I praise him, and I talk to him on a daily basis. I talk to him, and I try to live my life according to his word. I come by to tell you, don't be a fool. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Try to live according to his word. In other words, love your neighbor as well as you love yourself. Respect your neighbor and live according to the word of God. Don't be a fool. You see, sometimes in our walk, we think we have it all together, and really, we don't. This is what I call foolish thinking. When the Lord has blessed you, and shine his face upon you. And you turn and walk in the light, in the words that he wants you to do. And for some particular reason, you turn away from God. You turn away from Jesus. He blessed you with a house. He blessed you with a car. He blessed you financially, and for some crazy reason, you think you got it all together, and you turn away from it. That's what I call foolish. But we all have made that mistake. We all have been led by the Spirit, but somehow we turn away from the Spirit and start living by the flesh. In other words, we took life in our own hands. We forgot about thanking God. We forgot about praising God. We forgot about talking to him in the morning, talking to him at noon. Yeah. And we went about our life thinking that we had it all together and all the time we were being foolish. Yeah. I come by to tell you this morning, it's time for a change yeah. in our life. Yeah. It's time for us to live by the Holy Bible put our trust in the words of God and not in man. I come by to tell you this morning, don't be a fool. Turn your life and will over to Almighty God. Stop being a fool. Stop trying to take things in your own hand. But live about according to the words of God. You'll be a fool to go out of town with no money and a half a tank of gas. Amen? How many times we have thought we had enough but didn't have enough? How many times we thought we had together but we didn't? How many times we been told about something and we listened to the idea of someone else? I come by to tell you this morning, stop being foolish. Don't be like our ancestors back in the day in bondage, worship idols, and get in nowhere. I come by to tell you, do not be like the bridegroom. Just take enough to make it through. And then when your lamp went out, you had to go by, and you missed the whole proceeding. Amen? Don't be a fool. 
I come by to tell you this morning that when you wake up in the morning, tell Almighty God, thank you, Jesus. Tell him thank you for his grace and mercy that he's shown each day. If you wake up in the morning, thank him for your loved ones that you're in your right frame of mind. You see, the main thing God wants us to do, we want him to praise him, but most of all, don't just think about yourself. Think about your brothers and your sisters. Give praise to God, but also ask him to bless someone who's less fortunate than you. Bless that man that don't have a shirt on his back. Bless that man that don't have a roof over his head. Bless that man that don't have a job. You see, it's not all about us, but it's about loving one another. This morning, we ask you, don't be a fool. Live according to the words of God. And when you wake up in the morning, don't forget to talk to him. Don't forget to let him know I can't do nothing without you. You see, we all have lived a foolish life. We all have tried to do things our way. And we kept getting the same results. I can go back in the time when I tried to do the right thing, when I should have took a different route. Or maybe I should have went a different route. But then your mind tells you, well, let me go on down this street. But you went on down the street and you got a bad deal. <laughs> you ran into somebody you didn't want to run into. When the Lord had already talked to you, why don't you go this way? But you took it upon yourself to go the way that you wanted to go. Sometimes in our walk with God, he tells us what to do. But then the devil steps in and tells us, well, you ain't got to do it like that. Do it like this. A foolish thought. Sometimes we have told the right question in our life. But we take it upon ourselves to do it our way instead of God's way. How many times you have been given the first instruction, but you took the second one? How many times you have been going out of town and the sign say north or south, 95 north or 95 south? Instead of going north, you went south, and which I have did many times, when I should have been in Georgia, the sign kept saying Miami. And sometimes I traveled that road. I remember it just like it was yesterday. How did I get back on 95 South? When I done spent a half ton of gas and know that I should have been in Georgia by now. Wind up having a blown head gasket stranded along the highway. All I'm looking at is skeleton of armadillos. And I'm asking myself, Lord, what am I going to do now? You see, that's how it is in life. When you don't follow the instructions of the Lord, <coughs> and you take it upon yourself to go a shortcut and wind up going way out of the way, and don't make no difference, it gets a little worse. You get a flat tire and you ain't got a spare tire. Come on, somebody. That's what I call being a fool. I come by this morning to tell you, stop living like a fool and follow the words of Almighty God. Put your trust in Jesus as you understand him, not in your own understanding, not in the president. Not in government officials, but in the trust in Almighty God. Right. This morning, I don't know about you, but Lord, I need you. Every hour, I need you. Every minute, every second of the day, Lord, I need you. 
You see, Lord, I know that sometimes in our mind we get foolish thoughts and foolish ideas. But Lord, I've come to say this morning, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for leading me down the right path of righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for intervening when I thought I had it all together that you put me back on the right path. You see, things can happen like that. Sometimes we forget about Jesus because everything is going good. We got a little extra money. <laughs> uh, we find something more interested in trusting God. Sometimes we uh, have people come along in our lives that try to tell us how to live our life. Sometimes I have seen and heard how can two homeless men give advice to each other? In other words, what I'm trying to say, how can another homeless man tell you how to live and he's homeless? Amen? But I'm telling you, I'm asking a man that been where I've been and telling me how to get through. Amen? Don't be foolish. Put your trust in God and that man that's following God's word. Amen? Amen. In other words, a person that, that is living by the word of God, that got faith and believe in God, go to him, talk to him, because he will give you your insight on what to do. Don't always take it in your own mind and try to figure it out for yourself. Amen? Ask somebody that's been where you're at that can tell you how to get over, yeah. how to bring yourself through. Yeah. And most of all, someone that's going to pray with you and put your trust in God. When one or more is in the midst, Almighty God is there also. Amen? Let us stand. This morning, Heavenly Father, we come before your throne. Lord God, we want to say thank you.